All right, guys, how's it going? So when I started making the terrain tutorials, it actually was my intention to visit Blender GIS add-on. But some small-time YouTuber called CG Geek made this really viral video. <laughs> so I'm actually going to put a link in the description to his video. It's superb. To be honest, he's a lot easier to understand than me. Not as sexy sounding, but certainly more comprehensible. <laughs> but I still want to take a look at the add-on. But I don't want to cover old ground. Oh, I'm on fire. Get it? Old ground cover. So in traditional fashion, we'll delete the cube. So once you have the add-on installed, make sure you give it a cache folder in the preferences. And it's fairly simple to use if you go to Web Geo Data, go to Base Map, Source, Google, Layer Satellite, hit OK, and that brings up Google Maps. And all we do is zoom into an area of interest. So let's pick somewhere in Scotland. And when you're happy with your selection, if you press E to extrude, that extrudes it onto a ground plane. If you're wanting a height map data, go to GIS, Web Geo Data, Get, SRTM, and this essentially grabs a height map from the NASA satellites. I've covered this before in another video, but it's pretty damn good. I mean, you can see here we get this elevation data. Now, if you want to import things like buildings and roads, if you go to Web Geo Data, Get OSM. We can actually multi-select by pressing shift, so you can select buildings, highways. If you want to separate them into different objects, hit separate objects and hit OK. So now that we have the basics covered, I actually want to show you a few options that kind of get missed out by other YouTubers. So one of these is actually called a terrain analysis node, and it can be pretty handy to be honest. So I'm going to drop this node onto the terrain. If I come into the render viewport, you can see here we actually have this kind of gradient going on. And if we jump into the shading tab, essentially what it does is it creates a geometry node, it puts it into a separate channel node, so it takes a Z, it gives it a minimum and a maximum value, and then we have the colour ramp node, so we can actually control the colours. And if we drop this down to zero, check this out in the layout. We kind of get this height map data, so you could probably render this out straight on. So that's just one of the features that kind of gets brushed over. Now I mentioned in the last video, I like to give a different website with each of these tutorials. So this is a good excuse to look at OpenStreetMap. So OpenStreetMap pretty much works like any other website and I'm going to zoom into a focus of interest. So this is actually called High Possil. It's not the best area in Scotland, let's put it that way. And all we do is hit export and that exports out an OSM file, so let me just rename this here. So I'll come up to GIS, I'll come to Import. Now one thing I have to say about the import options here, they're pretty damn good. People pay a lot of money, so the fact that this is free and it's in Blender is an added bonus. And we'll import the OpenStreetMap data. Now it's basically an XML file, it's just a database. And you can see here what it does, it imports the roads, it imports the buildings and it imports the topology. So just to finish the video up, I'm just going to quickly cover a couple of options. If we come up to Mesh, we have different algorithms, so we have a Veroni pattern, I cannot say that word, and we get something pretty cool. Now this might come in handy for something, no idea what, but it's pretty good. And one of the last options that I actually like is if you come to Object, you can drop an object onto the Mesh. So all you do is select the two objects and hit drop, and it kind of aligns it to the normals or whatever. Pretty handy tool in its own right. And that's pretty much the basics of Blender GIS. Go and check out CG Geek's video, do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, I've got no mates, you know what to do. Peace.